Right, let's go. Let's move on to a team that their season did not go the way they wanted when uh, their star quarterback went down for a few weeks, yep. Seattle Seahawks, and then they decided to trade that star quarterback yep. mm-hmm. to the Denver Broncos. In return, they got Drew Locke, the possible starter quarterback next year, Noah Fant, tight end, Shelby Harris, defensive tackle, a 2022 1-2-5, and, and a 2023 1-2. Wow. So we, wow. got, we got breaking news on the, the podcast. Who would have thought it would be us to get it? The starting quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks will be Bruce Slade. Can I get a round of applause for that? You made it, yo. Come on. Bruce, Bruce, you might be able to start. We've been working on the routes outside. Your deep ball needs a little bit of work. It needs some touch. But everything else, I see the mobility. You gain speed. You're going to have to be running a lot with that O-line. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just be ready. Yeah. This is the first. I see, I see he, flashes he, of greatness, though. He's along, paying the money to play quarterback. Along with, negative trading, content. along with trading away Russ, they lost Wags, of course. Yeah. yeah. DJ Reed, mm-hmm. corner. And they lost Gerald Everett. Big pickup for the Chargers. Big, big pickup. Yeah, it yeah. is. They resigned Quandre Diggs and mm-hmm. Rashad uh, Penny. DK, is he still holding out? Or has he showed up for anything? I think he showed up. I think he's I think taking he the role up. as a leader on the team. Right okay. Because I know he held out. Uh, they resigned uh, Gino to compete for the starting job. Yep, with Bruce. They're obviously not getting <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> they're obviously not getting Baker anymore, as Baker got traded to Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't any like crazy signings. I didn't mind their draft though. They had a pretty decent draft. But they they draft a running back in what the second? They did draft a running back really <laughs> early for a team that has, that has two. Th- yeah, they have two to three already. Yeah. I like it's Kenneth just, Walker. Me too. I love Kenneth Walker. I think he was my running back too. Yeah. But taking but, him early, I mean, the Boye Mafe pick, you need a pass rush. You dressed that. Charles true. Cross, it was the safe pick. You needed you needed a left tackle. They got him. Uh, and Chenna Nwosu, who was a great pass rusher on the Chargers. Yes. Uh, he is. He, he's not going to be like game breaking, but. But it's, it's something. It helps. Yeah. They also got a uh, cornerback from Cincy, Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Yo, coolest he's good. name. Crazy yeah, name. Yeah, no, crazy yeah, name. Crazy, crazy name. name. And he's Rest nice. Rest peace, Kobe. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Uh, I just do you think Pete Carroll saying after this season? No, hell no. no. I don't see a scenario. I'm surprised he's on the team now. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The fact Maybe. that he's saying this isn't a re- there's nothing about this team and the roster and the quarterback situation. This is a rebuilding team. Yeah, I mean, the, if I was them, I'd try to not many. be competitive. Yeah, no. trade DK Metcalf. Uh, see if you could develop a, a mm-hmm. wide receiver at this yeah. point. Yeah, I would oh. trade. Honestly, I think I would trade Lockett before Metcalf because Metcalf's would. younger. I wouldn't be you surprised. You know, you have to trade Metcalf. I mean, you have to not trade. You're gonna have to sign, sign him and mm-hmm. extend him long term. But and there's a lot of cap hit right there. Yeah. But you're gonna have a young quarterback because you're gonna draft one next year when you're picking top five. You have to. If you guys are yeah. GMs, are you working through it with Russell Wilson? You're gonna develop the O line like he's been asking for. Uh, keep him like, keep him as uh, his targets. Or are you gonna trade him away if you were a GM? Like how they traded him away? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Year, that defense is not what it used to be. I know it's not what it and used to be. You're going to take oh. a couple of years to rebuild their why. defense. <laughs> are they, they going to try to <laughs> rebuild through defense and then try to bring up another QB and like help him into the situation? Because that's what they did with Russ. That's what I would do. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think they did the right decision trading him away. Okay, I gave him a shot to get another ring. It was a yeah. good decision for Russ. But it was no, a great decision for us. Yeah. But I think it was a good decision for the team, too, because now it gives them a chance to actually rebuild. They got draft capital from it. Mm-hmm. They it's, got starting players out of it. Yeah. I'm just... I'm never trading away a star quarterback. There's nothing. You would have to get... I mean, they, they obviously got a lot. In today's NFL... They got a lot. Like, where it feels like there is, say, at least 10 quarterbacks in the league mm-hmm. that can win you a Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. I feel like it... it, it I may be wrong, but star quarterbacks are starting to be developed a little bit easier because of no, the college is. offenses. Is it risky saying we can't draft another quarterback, especially with next year's draft? Oh no, you can definitely no, you can definitely draft. It's just there's a lot of risk involved. You can draft a bust. You might not develop him right. You had a guy who obviously he's older, but he's not Tom Brady old. But the yeah. money, the, the money is a, yeah, yes, yeah. it's an issue. Rebuilding a team with that much money going mm-hmm. into one person. It like it's like okay, we gotta keep consistently hitting on draft picks. Well, and it comes from like year, it comes from years of fucking mismanagement of the team. Yeah, mm-hmm. like where this all start? Uh, Jamal Adams trade. The Jamal Adams trade. Yeah. yeah, they were not a Jamal Adams away from the Super Bowl, but they traded two first, a, a third, and a player. Yeah, for Jamal and a fourth. The fourth Damn, actually, man, and that was the Kobe Bryant pick was from the Jets, uh-huh. but. 
They traded away two firsts and a third, essentially, for a safety that has regressed since he's gotten there. He yeah. broke the sack record his first year there, but he's gotten worse in coverage and was playing pretty bad last year before he got hurt and missed the rest of the season. So now he has injuries on him. And he the way he plays, he's going to pro- – like, you get hurt. I could see it at once, the time. Once, there's a chance he gets hurt. Yeah. They were like, okay, we're a defensive player away. Mm-hmm. We could probably do it with just the addition of Jamal Adams. Yeah. He's not a – first thing, a safety – for the most part, regardless how good they are, they're never going to be an impact player no, like that. It's like a running back on the yeah, defensive side. Yeah, basically. Exactly. Uh, they're interchangeable. Yeah. If it was a pass rusher, I'd be like, okay, maybe. Mm-hmm. But you have to be a special, special safety to really change no, the exactly. whole entire generation. He's not, yeah. You have to be, and, but you also have to be like a generational ball hawk and coverage safety. Jamal is far from that. He's yeah. not that. He's no. not a coverage safety. He's more at of an outside linebacker. Yeah. That's exactly. where he plays best. You put him. You put him in the box. Exactly. Well, they're even saying. When the trade happened, Greg Williams, who was the defense coordinator on the Jets at the time, yeah, he's ass, but he even said they're not going to use him the way he wants to be used or the way that he's going to be comfortable, the way that he plays his best. And he has not played as good as he did when he was on the Jets well, since going to Seattle. Yeah, nearly as good. I got a question, yes. though. He was an all-pro when he was on the Jets. How do you guys feel like DK would do this season, honestly? So, okay. Cause with that QB situation, I really don't know. DK Metcalf. Uh, I feel like it's going to get to the point where he has to start throwing the ball to himself. It's going to be <laughs> one of two things. Duh. Just about. Just, just to try to win games. What are they, what are they, trade, for, what are they trade for Darnold? Because they're not getting Jimmy. They're not getting, there's no way. They Absolutely would have to give not. up a lot to get Jimmy because it's in division. I think Geno made his try to force feed. Like, be like, okay. He probably will, yeah. That's yeah. why it's yeah. so... I can't believe it's 2022 and we might see Geno Smith start. A lot Yo, that's, of picks. It's going to win you games. Like, you DK. think that's winning them games? Force, Force feeding DK? I mean, what else do they have? Well, give me another way they can win a game. Well, if Geno's not going to I mean, they're running back. They do have running I'll say that. Yeah, but their offensive line's pretty good. It is bad, yeah. Force feeding DK. Injuries. Lock, it's fast. Injuries. Injuries. That's all I'm thinking about right now. You ever seen a video of DK making the catch, and then the dude just ran into DK's body? DK dropped the ball. That's because DK is On the Niners. Yeah, and homie just sit laying there. Like, knocked out and shit. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, DK was like, you're going to have to hit me harder than that. Man, how many times can DK get hit like that, though? That is true. Uh, he that. He is. Did, have you seen the video? He ate that. No, he yeah. did. He Imagine. laughed after. <laughs> Imagine that times three now this season. <laughs> Who's hitting him like that? <laughs> He's no, going to have three uh, you linebackers know, staring at him. You want to know how they win games any given, any given Sunday? That's the only way they oh, win yeah, games. Oh, yeah, but Pete Carroll's yeah. going to... You think Pete Carroll has the locker room in that locker room, too? He's at, losing it. Yeah. He's going to lose it when they're... He's losing it. 2-11. Like, it's going to happen. That team's going to be out quick, especially first game of the season. Mm-hmm. They're they going to get beat down by their old quarterback. Again, as I said, I want them to win that game so bad. That'd be so fun. They if play Seattle Broncos? wins. Yeah, they play Broncos. <laughs> really? First game. Yeah, it's gonna Monday night football, losing. too. They're losing. Um, That's a sad way to start the season. All right, let's Over wrap. Over under. Yeah. So that's six. No, under. That is the easiest under, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, the oh, whole yeah. season. Under. under There's uh, no way this team wins up seven games. Off season. <laughs> it's a miracle if they win seven yeah, yeah. games. I, I like contenders. It's not more happening. Yeah, it's yeah. Not. Absolutely not. Nope. I gave him uh, three wins. Uh, yeah. Off season grade of three. And yeah, I think they're probably one of the worst teams in the league this year. Yeah, yeah. I gave him an off season grade of like two. Yeah. They done nothing. I. It got worse. They got a three. Just because, Draft. yeah, they have four picks that I really like. Mm-hmm. Even I like Kenneth Walker as a player, even if it wasn't like a need mm-hmm. and where they're at right now. And Boye Mafe, Charles Cross, and Kobe Bryant. I like those picks. Charles Cross is looking like he could be I a think really he, good right or left tackle. He, I've, Iki Iquano was one yeah. for me. Between Evan Neal and Charles Cross, I flip-flopped like every day on who was two. Okay. Like I... If Cross is better than Neil, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be either. No, I wouldn't be. Um, obviously, yeah, a three just because of that. The, the draft saved them from being a one or a two. And I'm definitely taking the under. They win. They're, it's at six. Six is their max. If they have everything go right from them, that's six. Yeah. There's no way they win seven. Marcus? I'm going to keep it blunt. The Seahawks are going to be garbage. Absolutely god awful. They're in the rebuilding stages. I get it, but still, like, what are they gonna do this season? Tell me, what are they gonna do this season? 
Not a. Not much. How long did it take not to figure much. out their quarterback situation? Are they're, they still figuring it out? They're still, they don't know who's starting. Yeah. Okay. They're still figuring so, it out. They don't even have Jokes a, aside. a quarterback. <laughs> um, I see them not getting past four games mm-hmm. at all. I can see that. <sighs> That's um, not even crazy to say. Who said seven? One of you guys said seven? No, no I said it's a mir- their over unders at six. It's a miracle if they Wait, like, if they games? got seven. I'd be like, yeah, I got them winning like four games. Yeah, yeah, and that's a stretch. Too. I think they're max. <laughs> I think, about right. and that's yeah. a again, everything goes right. It's six. There's no no way in hell this team wins seven games. What you got, Brucey? Take that over under while it's up because I bet you it goes Wait, down. We're doing the off season grade. Yeah, what do you got for an off season grade? Two, one. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Dirt. <laughs> Trash. Garbage. Bruce. Hey, this is your team, bro. What they do for you? <laughs> your team? Nothing. This is not my team. This is your team. Bro, they're <laughs> signing you. Bro. You gotta be more. You got the yeah. locker room. Yo, yo, You're starting what are you quarterback. Talking about? What bro. Are you talking about, bro? You acting like you don't want to be, bro, Seattle? About? No, bro, not Seattle, bro. Not Seattle. You wouldn't want to live in Seattle? No, I said fuck uh, Seattle. It rains every day over there. Every day. It's, it's breaking the winter too. Yeah, no, nah, nah, facts. Bro, the twelfth man, they gonna fuck with you. What? Yo, bro. He gonna be the first man. He started. Nah, you can get yeah. them to seven games, bro. Yeah, hey, you can fuck up my part. Yeah, nah, I better say you could really fuck up my bets. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you versus <laughs> Russell Wilson, winner gets Sierra. What? Oh, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I know you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears into that. You He's not for five hundred. He's not for five hundred. Bruce gonna have the headband on. You put Bruce out there. <laughs> he might run over Bradley Chubb week one. Yo, Bruce is going crazy, bro. Bruce is going stupid behind that line. Yeah. You got DK Metcalf <laughs> and Tyler Lockett. You Just throw it up. No. Yeah, Fuck it. You got you know, Close your eyes and throw. You got like five running backs. DK's down there somewhere. Yeah, facts. That's Yo, it. Bruce, it's uh. You're going for see is you Justin Simmons is coming down. He's about to crack you. Damn. Wait, two yard no, line. I'm not, I'm you not, you yeah. gotta truck him. This is for Sierra, bro. bro Are you not, trucking I'm Justin not Simmons? On the team, bro. bro, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm talking hypo- hypothetically. Yo, if bro. he runs through this door right now, we give you some big up. ass shoulder pads. Nah, bro. <laughs> Yo, you gotta run right into him. <laughs> you nah, he said he don't want Sierra. He gonna need a gun to get through him. Uh-huh. Not getting through him. Bro, week one, bro. Nah, bro. You not hit him with the patent and Bruce spin move? Nah, bro. Not the, for Sierra. That? Nah, bro. Bro, I don't like Sierra with no kids. They got, they got me. <laughs> they got, they got me. Like how Tony Brown said, they got me on an earning contract. This team is ass. <laughs> 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 All right, rating, so the rating will be uh, one for the off season. Uh-huh. And there we go. And uh, wait. They're, they're the over under six. 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 six games. Six wins. Six. All right. If I start, we dead going over six. But I'm going to suck at y'all starting because, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm on an earning contract. Yeah. You know, they got my uncle Geno Smith out there. So 